I've been here five years and I still haven't even found the entire building. There are so many nooks and crannies in this place. Palmer House Hotel is a Chicago institution. The heart of the building has been here for over 150 years. Mr. Palmer really built up the city. He got married to Bertha Palmer, who he gifted this hotel to as a wedding gift. The brownie was invented here at Palmer House. We call it the Palmer House Brownie, or the Bertha Brownie, because Bertha was credited as the originator of the recipe for the brownie. Being able to work here in the Palmer House, it's a tremendous responsibility. The building itself it contains so much history that it's, it's hard to define. Hi, I'm Jason Schroeder, and I'm the executive sous chef at Palmer House, a Hilton hotel, and this is Off the Menu with Hilton. Today, we're making the world famous Palmer House brownie. First step is temper out the chocolate. Get your double boiler, set your chocolate on top. Mix until it's melted. We like to use 70% dark chocolate. Keep mixing it so it doesn't burn on the bottom. It's nice and thin. Now we add the sugar. Incorporate all the sugar. Temper in your butter. Second bowl, take your flour and your baking soda. Once your chocolate's cooled down enough, we're gonna start folding in the eggs one at a time. Or two at a time. Add your vanilla. Now you have your wet mixture and your dry mixture. Now we gotta marry the two together. It's okay to be a little messy. And that's how you make the brownie batter. Get your water back on. While your water's heating, clear some space. No need to grease your pan. There's plenty of butter in the batter. Spread your mix. Next step, add your nuts. The recipe requires walnuts. If you want, you can use black walnuts or macadamia nuts, whatever you prefer. Lightly press. And now we're ready for the oven. Place your brownies in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. One way we've been able to move the brownie into more modern times is we've incorporated it into the old-fashioned cocktail. So we take the traditional old-fashioned and we garnish it with not just the maraschino cherry, but with the actual little cube of the brownie as well. We sell a lot of those. It's our top seller at the bar. Once it's out of the oven, it should look just like this. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna melt our glaze. You do not have to make an apricot glaze from scratch. You can go to the store and buy an apricot jelly and use it just the same way. Once your glaze is hot, apply generously. Dab on the glaze so you don't pull the nuts out of the mix. The glaze has two functions, gives it a nice sheen, and it holds in the nuts. Now you let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes until the jelly resets. After you cut it, plate your brownie. With any remaining glaze, add it to some fresh berries. Stir it to coat. Another staple of the dessert is raspberry sauce. Last step, if you want, garnish with mint. And that's how you make a Palmer House brownie. I think there's only been like three years of my life where I haven't worked in a kitchen. Yeah. Growing up, I liked really watching a lot of old cooking shows and getting into a kitchen was just, just something I had to do. A uh, Midwestern kid at heart, so I ended up going to culinary school here in Chicago and it really opened me up to wanting to be here. The fact that I was able to eventually land a job here uh, and working here inside the hotel is, it's a privilege.